As it relates to San Clemente and a toll road, there is no way I would ever accept a scar of concrete and steel running through our city over, over the high, connecting on the five, somewhere over the high school area. There is no way any of us can ever accept that. I'm for an audit of the TCA. Every government agency should be audited. Somehow or another, the TCA has been exempt from audits. They need to be audited. We need to find out why they have not paid down their bonds. We have need to find out why they haven't built any roads in 27 years. We need to find out why it still exists and why the tolls have not been lifted. The, the community is no toll road. My husband is a surfer, most of our friends are surfers, so the big concern is that it would come barreling through like right down the center of San Clemente. That is an absolute no, no, no. We are not going to have a toll road going through San Clemente. Uh, we don't want the excess traffic at our beaches. Uh, most people like to keep San Clemente small, feeling like hometown. Um, we do have Talega, there are traffic issues. Um, another program that um, I believe in, and I've looked at their statistics and their records, is a program called OC Flex. Now, OC Flex are the smaller, like, van size instead of the big, giant buses, mm -hmm. and they are being tested from Huntington Beach to Mission Viejo in different cities. What they do is for $5 a day, you can be driven anywhere you want. So if you have kids and one's driving one to football, one's going to baseball, one's going to dance, one's going to cheer, they can actually all go in one van and be dropped off in their $5 for the entire day. Not only does that bring revenue in, to San Clemente, which we need because we don't want higher taxes, we want more revenue, but it also then will cut down on the traffic and it's working successfully in all of those cities that it's being tested in. A toll road should not go through the center of San Clemente. San Clemente is, is quite congested as it is. When a backup happens on the freeway, all the side roads get, get congested mm -hmm. and become a standstill. Uh, it really should be diverted around. However, I took the time to meet with both sides of the factions uh, of this toll road issue. And uh, I gotta say, I, I think that the T TCA is at the end of the road. Um, they literally and figuratively. Literally at the end of the road, <laughs> yeah. They look at their maps and how they're pushing them through. I think the viable option was pushing it around to the back end, uh, but then there was a, uh, the lawsuit back then that was many years ago now, but has stymied that effort and, had they been able to do that, that might have been a much more viable alternative to go around the backside, connect, go alongside the, the freeway in between here and Oceanside, because that freeway between here and Oceanside gets so logged up and jammed up, and having an alternate road would be a great thing. So the toll road, I'm proud to say that I am in favor of stopping the toll road route from coming through or around. I thought you were going to say, I am in favor of the toll road. <laughs> no, So never. let's make sure everybody knows yeah. you are. Stopping the toll road. Okay. From coming through or around San Clemente. Uh, you know, making sure that the TCA pays down their bonds, that they make the 73 a free road as they originally promised. Um, that they, you know, pay back their six billion in debt and that they're abolished immediately. I think something that I bring to the table is the fact that, like you said, I am a community organizer, but community organizing doesn't stop within the city of San Clemente. I think that I have the ability with, you know, fellow council members, if elected, uh, to make sure that we paint the picture for residents all throughout Orange County and ensure that council members um, in cities, you know, north, west and, or north and east of us uh, take the action to pull out of the JPA because it doesn't make sense for taxpayers, uh, it doesn't make sense for local governments, the TCA is not doing anything good for us. Well, no one that I have talked to wants the toll road to bisect San Clemente, okay? A couple of businesses have suggested that, gee, we would get more people coming in, but the cost, that is to say, the cost to tourism, the cost to the parking issues, it's just too much. So I don't think any of my opponents are different from me in this position. We want the toll road to be along the outside of San Clemente if possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Are There's you saying that it's inevitable we will have a toll road at some point? No, I'm not saying that at all. There could be pressure. You know, when I got here 25 years ago, the talk was already where it was going to go. Trestles. That was 25 years yeah. ago, yes. Mm -hmm. So my position would be always that if it's going to come here, it should be on a sort of a ribbon of land on the outside of San Clemente, and therefore we give us an opportunity to brag about the fact 
it's bypassed us, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm definitely against that. Once again, where it's a difficult situation like songs, you know, you, a city of San Clemente, the size of San Clemente, dealing with a state agency, 